and welcome to today's video. Now this is quite an interesting video and it's a little bit different from my normal videos. Now I want to take you back to 1992. I was 11 years old. There was an array of amazing songs in the charts. an Amstrad CPC 464 computer and I loved it so much. Amstrad released something in 1992 which I wanted so much and that was the NC100 portable computer. I'd sort of forgotten about it until uh, my mate Vince popped up with a video on YouTube about it and in that video he got his hands on one of these NC100 portable computers and uh, repaired it because it was broken. And I just had this massive hit of nostalgia because I remember being 11 years old and seeing this wonderful device and it was 200 pounds, which was a lot of money then. I mean, it's a lot of money today, but back then when I was getting like a pound a week pocket money, that was a lot of money. But I decided I really, really wanted one. And I started saving and saving and saving and saving because I just wanted one so much. But I was 11 and like I am today, I was rubbish with money and I quickly changed my mind and spent all my money. And so I never got to own an Amstrad NC100 until today. After Vince made the video about fixing it, I was just sort of so happy to see it again and I was just intrigued to see what a device like that would be like in today's times. Yeah, I just wanted to own a little bit of my past, I guess. Even though I didn't have one at all when I was younger, I wanted one so badly. And uh, I was talking to Vince about it, and he said, well, I'll send you this one. And uh, here it is. Now, uh, the box arrived the other day, and I've, it's taken all my energy not to open it and crack it open and have a look, but I thought I'd save it and open it with you guys on camera, and we can have a little look at it together and uh, go for a little trip down memory lane and see what a portable computer was like in 1992. So um, I guess what I should do is open my parcel and uh, see what's what. I, mean, I actually feel a bit emotional about it really, because you know, it's, it is really sort of harking back to my childhood days. And I mean, you know, even though the technology's changed and things have got better, and you know, this is, this is sort of like an absolute dinosaur now, Kids still want modern technology. James is saving up for an iPhone at the moment, and he's nine, and it's like, that's mad. I didn't get my first mobile phone until I was 18, and he's already got a phone, and yeah, it's just kind of like mad that that's what he wants to spend his money on. But you know, I wanted to spend my money on this when I was little, so. I was an absolute nerd when I was a child. I'm, I'm exactly the same now. <laughs> I'm a nerd with a little bit more money. Well, So first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to Vince for sending this to me. He is an absolute gentleman of a human being and very, very kind. And his videos just bring me endless joy. If you haven't watched Vince's videos, you really should. He's just repairing things and he's just a normal guy who doesn't always get it right, but he tries really bloody hard and uh, quite often it works out okay. I think I'm shaking the camera. I'm actually shaking slightly because I'm, I'm nervous about this. Oh, oh, cheers Vince. Thanks for all the packing foam. I'm gonna have to take this out really slowly. Yeet all that. No, I'm just going to end up yeeting these all over the desk, aren't I? Right, I might save these and send them back to send something back to Vince wrapped in these. <laughs> so this didn't really have much on it 
it had a sort of uh, pared down version of basic programming language. It had a word processor, it had a calculator, it had an address book. You could print things from it. It had a, it's got a parallel printer port. And I think you could upgrade the memory to a massive one megabyte. There it is. That's so cool. Now I love these colored buttons because I'm sure the Amstrad CPC 464 had colored buttons like this. Those bright primary colors. So let's have a look at the back. So it needs four AA batteries. I've got some of those to hand. It's got a little flippy up thing so you can stand it up. So let's put the batteries in. <laughs> Look at that! Autographed by my mate Vince himself. <laughs> Love it. I hope it likes my Energizer batteries. It's kind of weird having something that Vince has sort of fixed as well on his channel. Like, so many people would have watched that fix. And here is the finished article. This is so cool. I might actually do a video with James and see what he makes of it, of being a sort of similar age to what I was when I wanted one. God. So to use the word processor, press yellow and red. Start a new document. Yeah, let's press red. Oh, it might be some stored documents. There are no st stored documents. Press stop to exit. Where's stop? There's stop. Press red, right. Please type a name for the new document and press enter. Um, thank you. Uh, start typing new text here. That's actually, the keyboard is actually really quite nice. Considering the age of it and considering the size of it, that's actually quite cute. I like that. Right, press stop to finish. There we go, so is that now a stored document? Yes, it is. Boom. I mean, we can't print the document because I don't have a printer with a parallel port. So uh, at the back of it, we've got a serial port. Oh, we've got the parallel port and we've got a six volt input. And there, and there on the side is the memory card slot. Oh, it's even got, vol oh no, that's not, I was like, that's volume? I didn't know it made sound, but it's uh, to adjust the uh, screen. Yellow and green to get the calculator up. Use the green numbers on the keyboard, press stop to exit. Okay, so uh, we've got to use these guys here. So um, 23 times 56, so enter I guess. Oh no, equals, there you go. Diary slash clock address book, yes please. Oh look, there we go, can you use the address book? Press red. Oh look, there we go, so we can enter name, address, telephone and fax. Uh, get, get your mates on their fax machines. It does actually think that it's 1990. Can we change the uh, time? No, we can just tell it a different time zone. Right, mm, okay. Now look at this. What's this? It's a secret menu button. What's on the secret menu? Ah, in this menu I can set the time and date. Right, set time and date. It is 11. Oh, oh have I got to use these numbers? No. Oh, okay, got to press up and down to adjust the hours. So it is 11, 37, 
and it is the third of February. I hope this doesn't have the millennium bug. No, we're in. Boom. Here we go. I also remember there was like a secret area where you could like store stuff hidden away. I used to have a diary when I was younger and I sort of thought myself to be the next Adrian Mole. Um, and I remember that I thought, oh, I could type my diary into this and no one would see it. And I can't remember the exact way of getting into the secret section. I mean, the secret menu just brings up a menu, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, please enter a password and press enter. Um, okay, one, two, three, four. Might work. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's such a sweet guy. So I've got a message and it says, well done, Kip, you found it. Thanks for all the support you've given my channel over the past year. Keep being awesome, Vince. Oh, bless his heart. Oh, that's so sweet. That's really cute. Thank you, Vince. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe I won't keep my diary on there after all. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that there for years to come. I like that. There we go, so if you press function and B, you go into uh, basic. So uh, let's see if I remember a bit of basic. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is probably one of the, my vlogging highlights. I'm just so blown away by this and just like looking at it. The thing is, like, it's really dark because I know I'm not really going to use it and I know it's just going to sit somewhere and, you know, have pride of place, maybe in the background or something like that. But it just, it just really, I don't know. I really wanted one of these when I was younger. And I don't really, I think I thought I'd use it for schoolwork because you can't really do much else with it. You know, it's got a word processor and you can print things and you can do calculations, but obviously, you know, we all had calculators. But yeah, I just remember seeing that these were like everywhere. Like I had, they were like in the Argos catalogue. I remember them very vividly in the Argos catalogue. And I'm pretty certain I saw them at like Curry's and Dixon's on the shelf. And that 200 pound price tag just seemed like so far away. And it's like, it's here now. It's, it's amazing, it's so cool. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't serve much purpose in the modern world. I've got that behind me and that's pretty flipping cool. But I don't know, this is sort of, this is like a slice of my past that I never quite got to. It was the one that got away. Yeah. So thank you so much, Vince. Um, I know this hasn't been the most interesting of videos, um, but it's, it's, I've enjoyed it, I really have. <laughs> well, anyway, enough, uh, enough of me sitting here just looking in awe at this cute little device. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribing is absolutely free and it will really help my channel grow. And if you give this video a comment, thumbs up, what did you want when you were little? What was your dream item? What were you saving up for? Do you have it now? I'd be really interested to know, so please do drop a comment. But um, yeah, I'm gonna dry my eyes and uh, say for now, it's game over.